Okay, it's finale time here in Charlottetown. The Angus and Buddy McKenzie Memorial Paces, race 11. Family and friends will be trackside with the winner as we, they're lining up in behind that Metro Home Building Center starting gate. Upstairs for the call to track announcer Vance Cameron. Melanie's Magic, Lobel Bruiser, Hunger Pangs. Check your source, Wims Drop Off. Dividend Day, just call me Doc Selkirk, Echo, top of the stretch. All lined up, approaching a start. Finale time, the rough and pacing. Hunger Pangs, the first call at the rail, Melanie's Magic. Crossing over third is Check Your Source. Coming up fourth on the outside is Just Call Me Doc. Lobel Bruiser gets away fifth. From the outside, Selker Gecko sixth. Seventh along the inside is Wims Drop Off and trailing the field, Dividend Day. So the quarter pole bound and up on the outside as they race the back stretch, Hunger Pangs and Dowling parked right over to the quarter. Melanie's Magic now releases for the two hole ride. Third up the rail is Check Your Source. Just Call Me Doc. Fourth, fifth is Lobel Bruiser. Selkirk Echo can find no friends here. Parked out on the outside, six. Seventh at the rail. That's Wims drop off and trailing the field. Dividend day, 28-3. Opened it up. Through the stretch they come. The opening half mile is next. And on the lead, Hunger Pangs halfway home. Melanie's Magic second. Check your source third. Then in fourth, just call me Doc. Selkirk Echo did get a spot, but he didn't take it for long. Back to the outside, fifth. Lobel Bruiser sixth. Wims drop off seventh. And dividend day eight. Fifty. 7-3 was the half mile. Up the back stretch for the final time. Hunger Pangs leading it late. Second is Melanie's Magic racing from third. Check your source. Moving fourth is Just Call Me Doc. Then in fifth towards the rail, Selkirk Echo. Lobel Bruiser six. Seventh Wims drop off. Dividend day eight. Three quarters up in one. 26 and 4, eighth of a mile out. In at the rail, hunger pangs. Just call me Doc is run alongside. Up the inside, check your source. Coming on late, Melanie's Magic on the far outside. Melanie's Magic in the final strides. Might have got it all. Just call me Doc. Run right alongside in the win photo. Time for the mile. One. 56 but Okay, we're going to get a look at the race 11 slow-mo here brought to you by Universal Media. It was the Angus and Buddy McKenzie Memorial Pace. What a trip from the 7, just call me Doc. But what a drive here from Corey McPherson with Melanie's mag Magic as he angles out late. Hunger Pangs takes charge. David Dowling, 28-3, 57-3, 126-4. Melanie's Magic sat a pocket but was forced to go to the outside instead of the inside here. Corey McPherson times it just right. Game first over effort from the 7, just call Call me Doc, and up the cones in the passing lane is the four. Check your source with late pace, but it's a bang-bang finish, and we had a winner here. Melanie's Magic and Corey McPherson in the finale, 156 flat, second win on the season, and a season's best for this nine-year-old by Hypnotic Blue Chip, who is a world champion, by the way. Just Call Me Doc, finishing second. The four, check your source was third, two, Lobel Bruiser, fourth in tonight's finale.
Here comes Melody's Magic to the 11th race winner's circle, facing Brown Stallion 9 by Hypnotic Blue Chip of the Jenna's Beach Boy Dam, Autumn Magic, owned by Sandra Stead of Montague, bred by Francis Azur from Beaver, Pennsylvania, trained and driven to victory by Corey McPherson, the mile 156, Melanie's Magic, down at trackside, the Angus and Buddy McKenzie Memorial, cooler presentation, it's Melanie's Magic and McPherson in the Super High Five. <laughs> 